Um, uh, and that's a good thing that we can go into the, to the, how the Gentiles, and that's, you know, I'm glad the brother, the, the guy asked the question, because now it takes you how we got into, our people got, became them Hellenized, Helen, Helen, Hellenistas and Hellenized Jews that's, on the, uh, that's out there, because they started following the ways of the heathen. They started following and taking, took the orders of uh, Ant Antiochus, and, and then start sacrificing swine's flesh, the abomination that make it desolate. You know, they start sac they start sacrificing swine flesh on the altar. Um, so that's how we got out there, and they just start following. Now they start looking like Greeks, not circumcising themselves. You know, uh, probably passing their children through the fire like they did before. Yeah, street sports, gym naked, gym nose, uh, wrestling yeah, naked, men know. wrestling around naked, getting, letting their rides hit each other, man, <laughs> bump, bump, man. Come on, man. You know, go ahead. Uh, who uh, had? Uh, I can speak. You, you got, got, you got more. Speak. You got more. Uh, uh, we good. We good. Go ahead. Uh. If y'all had the scriptures, keep, keep coming with the scriptures. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. yeah. All right. Let me get this. Oh, uh, uh, I'm to yeah. This is uh, Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, God says, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Yeah, because. Uh, the, the reason that, that that scripture was brought out, you got the you got the uh, the Roman Catholic Church, and other different sub branches also the Catholic Church, where you got Edomites that are that are, are are trying to speak and make themselves a part of the Word of the Most High Heavenly Father, and you got the, the the Jews that are over there in Israel today, that's trying to make themselves a part of of the the, the works of the of the Bible, the words of the Most High Heavenly Father, and they're they're taking up the statues in their mouth, but but they're liars. And they, uh, their, their forefathers sold his birthright for a pot of uncooked meat. Right. You know, and, and that's the nature of all Edomites. You, you can't get them to be, uh, to tell the truth at all. They're always speaking lies. And the Bible even says that. It says that they come from the womb, uh, speaking lies and being rebellious. So what Google guy got is uh, <laughs> a lie, <shit. laughs> that, that, anything they say, man, you gotta be, you gotta look at their ass three times, man. Especially in this 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 time where, uh, like like Donald Trump, and that shit that's going on, all that is a farce, man. All they all they doing is re getting ready for what we looking for, that that war, that that that, that end all be. They trying to race that race war, you know what I mean? Just they just trying to put uh, an enmity. Cause why you why all of a sudden we going into uh, uh, those uh, political arenas? to vote for these guys and all of a sudden fights breaking out. You know, when, when did this happen before? It's, it's that time because it's getting close. The Most High is bringing, out, bringing it all out, bringing all their emotions out, letting them know, letting them tell you niggas is niggas and we ready to kill you niggas. They, they telling you, we ready to kill you. Hey, you know? And that, that whole voting thing, that whole voting thing, the, the, uh, the, the uh, what, what, do they, what do they call it, the Congress, you know, the, the, the presidents, the, the Democrats and Republicans, yeah. all of that goes back to Rome. Yeah. Yeah. The, the plebeians and patricians, yeah. you know, the, the elders spoke about this and, and, and taught us about this. And, you know, basically, the same thing that's going on right here in America, uh, in the book of Revelations, this is the image of the beast that was created. That, that whomsoever will not worship the image of the beast, can you get that in our uh, Revelations uh, 13? Uh, yeah, well, while we're getting this, like uh, brother was saying, talking about uh, the Roman Empire, there's an example of that in Maccabees, uh, showing how he saw first started using democracy around the Roman Empire. Because instead of having a uh, instead of having one central king, that's right, they would have uh, like a council of men. They that's had a council. Yep. That's yep. in Maccabees. That's that's the reason why today in America you have a Congress. Because everything in America is formulated after the way of Rome. It's formulated after the way of Rome. So yeah, you have the you have the Senate, you have the you have the uh, the Congress, you have the House Democrats and, and Republicans, House of Representatives. the House of Representatives. All of that, all of that, that that uh, so-called, all of that is is formulated after Rome. That's why that Scalaki. That's why that deadly wound was healed. That deadly wound was healed. You're saying, like you're saying, Revelations. 
they, they said they was they, uh, they was out for about a thousand years. He said, he he, he uh, with the scripture, they was, uh, he put it. They was down for a thousand years. That but that deadly moon was healed. That was just the Roman Empire coming back again. Yeah, let me get that. Done. Now, you, in, in America's uh, court system, they speak Latin. That's the reason why you. That's the reason why you have to have an attorney. You know, uh, attorneys speak legalese, which is nothing but Latin. At the at your, your hospitals, on the back of your food labels, it's written in Latin. You know, so. Uh, oh, what's another thing that they were doing in Rome? Hey, in, in Rome, and in Greece, they were boy lovers. Yeah. <laughs> they were homosexuals. They liked sleeping with men. Entertainment. The that. entertainment. Well, uh, down the street, we you, you have a couple of um, you have a couple of sports arenas. Those, those sports arenas, they're, they're nothing but modern day coliseums. And you got a building. Uh, what what you can turn or turn around and show them that library right there. Yeah, that, like the library that. looks like something. And then over here you got the old, you got the old city count, county building, yeah, which you, you can't see it because there's buildings in the way. But but the the way that the columns and everything is set up, yeah. it looks like it looks like Rome. Yeah, down down the street you got a you got a, a place called uh, Campus Marshes. Campus Marshes mean land of land of Mars. When you do when you do uh, research on, on like a Greek mythology. The land of Mars is a place where all of the so-called uh, Greek gods met up, or the so-called Roman Roman gods met up on, on land. That was a place where they met up on land. A lot of this stuff is, is formulated after Rome. And basically, if you don't want to follow the ways of America, they, they will put you to death. Go ahead. Revelation 13 and 6. It should be around like, uh, like 13 and 10. Got Prometheus down there, man. Roman statue, you know. Here's a scripture. It's Revelation 13:3. He says, "And I saw one of his heads as if they were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast." That's that Rome. That's the that's that's the Rome. The Romans uh, uh, system. I mean, they came back. Well, after that one, after that thousand years that they were put dormant, that deadly wound was healed. So uh, they they brought all that old, the old knowledge and, and the Senate, the Congress, all that the, uh, the democracy. I mean, Democrats, Republicans, they brought it all back because that was the old way, and they said it was healed because they were because they they brought it back into to their old way, and so. The, what we got now is ain't we just sitting in the Greco-Roman Empire at this moment. This is the latter-day Greco-Roman Empire as we speak. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. This is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 14. Uh, yeah. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those mir miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. There you go. Verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast, beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Here you go. That's it. That's it. That's basically the point. Now, uh, th I think, I believe we were going to talk about uh, the Romans mm -hmm. in, in the book of James. Huh? Seth. I'll just start I can start back at six. Okay, come on. This is uh Daniel seven and six. And after this I beheld and lo another like a like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast also had four heads, and dominion was given to it. After this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth, and devoured, and de it devoured and break in pieces, and stamp and stamp the residue of the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. Yeah, it was diverse from all of the other beasts before it, 
because all of the other beasts were before they had one king that was that was ruling over all of the people but this particular kingdom it had uh like the brother said a senate you know that was ruling all of the people so it was governed a little differently it's just like now we got a president and the president has really he has a power but he only he has he, his power is like he can veto a bill or anything. He can be, veto bills, but everything goes through all the way to him. He really has in this kingdom. He really has no power. We know that. But the kingdom, but doing, yeah, it's an illusion. You know, they are, they have to have something that that sticks like a king in America. But it's not. He's not a king. He's a. He's a supervisor. He's a. He's a, he's a, uh, he's a manager. manager. Yeah. yeah, he's a manager of. Of a, of, a, of a corporation. He's a puppet king. Puppet, but but you got you're a puppet king. But when you have a lot of, uh, you have a majority of people. Um, let's say like a stockholder or anything in that 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 manner. It's a decision that could be made that he he has to. He the, basically it, when it gets down to it, um, the the president has to deal with with. with actually is told to do and that's what you know it because it's all a facade we know it's all a facade this this is phony so the president has to do with the, the elites tell him because he's not he's just a president of a corporation the owners live in england you know well if if uh the, if the, the emperor in rome didn't do what the senate wanted him to do they, they all conspired him. against him and they and they paid uh mercenaries to come in and assassinate him right you know, there in a, a lot of the people that were selling out, and that would kill the emperor, that would take those bribes to kill the emperor, what were his, was the emperor's guard, because they were the ones that were closest to him. And that goes to show you how loyal Edomite is, man. For you people that are out there that, that want to trust Edomites, that want to befriend them, they'll 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 turn around and kill you in the blink of an eye. Oh, that's but but it says that uh, I'm still here. It, it says that this beast was more fierce. And the brother, the brother had said that the, that, that the Roman Empire was was more fierce than any other empire, and, and they were more fierce because of their war tactics <coughs> the, and, the, and the weapons that they had, and they were more organized. Yeah. The, and the so-called white man, he, he he's good, he's good at uh, at, at war. I give him that. That's the reason why the Bible <laughs> says that that that, uh, that he's a, by the sword he shall live. Right. And, and think about their, their weapons now, that nuclear bomb shit. They try to fear everybody with that. So they, their weapons are um, they're, they're fierce. That's a fierce tactic, man. The nuke, to, to, to dissolve you, that's a fierce tactic, man. Go ahead, Ivan. Yeah, no, uh, I was about to say, there's a scripture in Sirach, uh, you know, where it says you don't trust the man who has the power to kill. That's know? right. You don't go into, go into a secret place with them. Because blood is nothing in his sight, you know. That's the so-called white man. You know, he doesn't killing uh, killing a whole fleet of niggas doesn't mean anything to him. And actually, because uh, I watched the video right before I came, the way he likes doing it, he has our own people killing us. You know, I was looking at some of the numbers uh, at abortion with the so-called black woman. Every month, there's uh, approximately 50,000 black babies being killed through abortion, and then that's been going on since 1973. And at 2014, it was at uh, 12 million. So this is already 2016, so you can probably throw on a, uh, one more mil. Man, you know? man. They said the more they afflicted, the more they grew. They, they, uh, they, they, the more they afflicted, the more you know we grew. And it's still, we still got a greater number out here. Yep. You know, they still try to take us out. Go ahead, go ahead. This is our Sirach 8 and 15. Travel not by the way with the bold fellow, lest he become grievous unto thee. For he will do according to his own will, and thou shalt perish with him through his folly. Strive not with the angry man, and go not with him into a solitary place. For blood is nothing in his sight, and where there is no help, he will overthrow thee. God, you know, don't, you can, you can put that with the heathens and with niggas, but put, put, put that with Esau, you know, Esau, he'll do whatever he has to to get whatever he wants. You know, they put that in all types of movies. You go on somewhere with the eat him, like, oh shit, 12 years a slave. <laughs> Uh, what's that? What's that nigga's name? Solomon Northrup. Yeah, he wanted to be 
Mr. Great. Shuck and Jive Man. and shit. Go, Man. yeah, clapping, singing, dancing, shit. Next thing you know, he waking up shackled and shit. Waking up, <laughs> doing one of these, up. trying to break the bars. Oh, dude came in and whooped his ass. He, he was, me. he was leaving. He was doing all right where he was, but yeah. he left to go 